Welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. In today's video, we're going to continue exploring the gaming experience on the Intel Core i7-8705G, which is one of Intel's 65-watt KB Lake G variants that comes equipped with a quad-core CPU and AMD Radeon RX Vega M graphics. There's already a full review of this processor up on the channel, and we've already covered a bunch of games in part one of this series, so check out both of those things if you haven't done so already. In today's video, I'll be continuing our exploration of KB Lake G gaming with a look at 13 games, including some titles that you guys requested on the last video. Nothing has changed since last time, we'll simply be looking at how playable these games are on KB Lake G, at what settings, and at what level of performance. Every game here has been run at 1080p resolution, and for the most part I've targeted 60fps. Once again, I'm testing everything on the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1 with the Core i7-8705G and 16GB of DDR4-2400 memory. This is the 65W configuration of KB Lake G with the Radeon RX Vega M GPU that packs a cut down 20 compute units. In terms of raw power, it sits around the level of the GTX 1050 and GTX 1050 Ti, so let's see how it gets on in some more games. Overwatch is still a super popular game and one I'm not particularly good at. In any case, if I was good at Overwatch, I'd enjoy playing it on the 8705G at 1080p with medium settings, which are the perfect settings for 100 plus FPS at most times. Even in super intense situations, KB Lake G never dipped below high 80 FPS or so, and the experience in general is really smooth. One of the best games in terms of performance on this processor. Far Cry 5 is visually beautiful and well optimized, particularly on AMD GPUs. Despite being a modern title, the 8705G was actually able to play this game on the high preset with frame rates consistently in the mid 40s. It is possible to achieve 60 FPS by significantly reducing the quality settings, however I think the high preset gives a great mix of visual quality and performance. I never saw dips below 30 FPS and you can bank on a pretty consistent 45 FPS or so throughout the game. Civilization 6 is a game I think is perfect for playing anywhere and is well suited to laptops. With medium settings and no anti-aliasing, I hit around 35 to 40 FPS in the benchmark, which is representative of the late game experience. We're mostly CPU limited here rather than GPU limited, but as it's a strategy game, this sort of performance is acceptable and perfectly playable, so another tick for KB Lake G. Kingdom Come Deliverance is the game I've personally been playing recently, and it's poorly optimized to say the least, although it can look good at maximum settings at times. With KB Lake G, you'll need to play the game on the lowest possible quality settings though, where you'll get 40 to 60 FPS in the more populated towns, and there can be a bit of stuttering, although that's not unusual even on high-end gaming PCs. The game suffers visually at the lowest settings, though if you really want to play it, the 8705G can handle it. I really liked Prey when it came out last year, and it's another game that can be played pretty easily on KB Lake G, with the high preset delivering mid 40 FPS in the larger and more graphically intensive areas of the game. You get a slightly higher frame rate using the normal preset, but I found the game really playable on high.
Rainbow Six Siege is a well-optimized Ubisoft title that just runs smoothly on a wide range of hardware. With the 8705G, I found the medium preset to be suitable, delivering above 90 FPS in most situations, which is what you want in a shooter like this. You could play at higher quality presets for better visual quality, but medium is great for the performance it delivers. 10 seconds to insertion. Five seconds left. Op 4 has located the biohazard container. Setting the welcome map. Razor wire going up. Watch Dogs 2 is one of the most intensive titles I tested despite being released in 2016. Using the medium preset you can get around 40 FPS at 1080p and that doesn't improve significantly when you shift it down to the low preset so there's not much point doing so. The game hammers both the CPU and GPU that remains playable on the 8705G. Batman Arkham Knight looks visually stunning on the 8705G and you can actually play it on maximum settings with Gameworks disabled and achieve 40 to 60 FPS when flying around the city. In the most intensive areas you will fall down to around that 40 FPS mark, but in a game that looks amazing on the highest settings you may as well leave it there because you can. Dirt 4 is a simple affair. You want 60 FPS for a driving game, and the high preset with CMAA will get you there. With that preset selected, the game runs really well, and if you want to push the frame rate higher, there's plenty of scope to do so with lower quality settings. Right 6 over crest. Don't cut. Right 6. Into left 4 long. Opens. Keep in. 150. Keep right over crest. 110 over bumps. 60. Right five, don't cut. And right four, don't cut. 100. Left four. And right six, into left five. Right four long, don't cut. And right six, don't cut. 200, 200 over bumps. 100. Left six, don't cut. Fallout 4 isn't well optimized and tends to break quite often, however you guys requested it so here it is with the medium preset and FXAA set to low, you'll get around 50 to 60 FPS in the most intensive city areas without any mods installed. Hopefully Fallout 76 is a bit better optimized for modern hardware when it's released later this year. Oh, and for some reason my game capture didn't get audio for this title, so while the footage for Fallout 4 is still playing, I'll talk about the one game that really didn't work on the 8705G, and that's Middle Earth Shadow of War. I think there's a bug with this game at the moment that prevents you from setting a render resolution on KB Lake G, so the game ends up rendering at 540p, which looks horrible. It's not a great game anyway, so I guess it's not a big loss, but not everything works fully, at least on this processor. One game that does run well though is CSGO at competitive settings, using the lowest detail levels at 1080p, but of course with multi-core rendering enabled, I was able to get over 100 FPS in most game situations, sometimes well over 100 FPS. You want to run this game at the highest possible frame rate and KBLAG G does a good job of getting there.
Mass Effect Andromeda is a game I can't imagine too many people are still playing. In any case, the medium preset was best for this game, delivering 60 FPS in the intensive Tempest area, with occasional dips down to the 50s. You'll get high frame rates on most planets, but this is the preset that delivers the best all-round experience. Final game for this video is The Witcher 3, one of my all time favorite games. Despite being released in 2015, you won't be able to run the game particularly well on KB Lake G. The medium preset delivered around 40 FPS in the cities, but there was a weird bit of stuttering present and a fair bit of input lag as well that made the game unpleasant to play. Going with lower quality settings didn't improve it all that much either, which is a bit disappointing. Stay out of my way. Another drifter in from Tamir. Oh. You look fucking amazing on top of me. And that's all the games we've tested on KB Lake G. In total, I looked at 25 games across the two videos, and except for one game, everything was playable on around medium quality settings. Some games like The Witcher 3 and Hitman did stutter a bit and have a few issues, but others, in particular competitive games like Overwatch, Fortnite and CSGO all ran really well on the i7-8705G. That's it for this one. If you have any questions about KB Lake G, feel free to chuck them in the description below or ask me on our exclusive Patreon Discord channel. Don't forget to check out other KB Lake G content and I'll catch you in the next one.